Here are the four types of bank accounts that everyone, including you, should have if you don't already. Here we the go. The first account is a traditional checking account. A traditional checking account is likely where your paychecks are going, where you pay your rent, where you pay other bills, and where you want to manage a lot of those transactions. It's recommended that you don't have all of your savings in your traditional checking account because it has such low or no interest in some cases that you're actually losing money. Especially the these days. Account that you want to have, and everyone should make sure that they have, is a high yield savings account. A high yield savings account account, you'll often see the acronym HYSA, is a type of savings account. Typically, it's offered through like online services, essentially not brick and mortar stores where you can go into your bank. I use Discover for mine and I absolutely love it. What's great about a high yield savings account is that it has about eight times higher interest than a traditional checking or traditional savings account. Oh, at so it's least. it's a really great place. Plus, it's insured for you to keep things like your emergency fund, any of your short term goals that you're saving for, like a new car or a vacation. The third account account that you should have, regardless of what age you are, is a retirement account. The types of accounts that you should consider is something like a 401k if your company offers it, a Roth IRA if you want to consider going individual, or a SEP IRA if you are freelance. A retirement account One, two, is three. actually a type of an investment account. It's made up of stocks and bonds, etc. But what's really great about a retirement account compared to just regular savings or even investments is that one is that it has a lot of tax advantages. Essentially what that means is that the government incentivizes you to save for your retirement by offering tax advantages, whether when you invest or with you withdraw, there's a lot that you can benefit from. The second that's really great about retirement account is that the sooner that you start, no matter how young you are, you can really use time to your advantage and you could take advantage of compound interest. So you should make sure that you are investing in a retirement account if you are not already. And you got to actually invest the money. You can't just drop it in there and expect it to compound. You have to have the cash invested in some sort of portfolio of stocks, mutual funds, bonds, etc. And then last but not least, the fourth account that you should have considering, and I would actually recommend them in this order, is an investment account through index funds. So index funds is also a type of investment accounts made of stocks and bonds. But what's great about an index funds is that it allows you to have like lots of indices that kind of mirror where their stock market is going, like the S&P 500. So essentially, you don't have to A, be super knowledgeable about the stock market, and B, you don't have to cherry pick which indexes or which stocks are going to be best for you. It allows you to have like a bundle of the top investments that are kind of mirroring the stock market. and a Every one of these accounts is so key. Now, you're going to have to have a checking account, and there's an amazing number of people out there that are unbanked. They don't have any checking accounts, just cash under the mattress. The second step, high interest, uh, high yield savings accounts. Uh, these days, with interest rates so high, getting into a two and a half, three and a half percent interest rate is wildly possible. And we're talking about hundreds of times difference compared to a normal checking account to an actual high yield savings account. And when you have that emergency fund, it's important to not put it into some retirement account or investment or some bond that you're going to have to pay a penalty to pull it out. Instead, put it in a high yield savings account, and you're going to be better off in the short and the long run. And with these retirement accounts, you know, there's uh, there's potential for an employee match. There's all these tax benefits. And that's something that once you have your in your emergency fund and your debt relationship under wraps, then it's time to really start attacking that retirement plan. We're talking about 15 to 25 percent of your income should be going into those to max out what you you can apply into those accounts each year. And then finally, yes, index funds are a great solution. I also think that these days, a lot of stuff is on sale. And so diversification is what she's getting at with these index funds, where you can be buying an indice that provides an S&P 500, where you're investing in 500 companies all at once. But there's also different types of strategies, whether you're going into growth funds or blue chip value funds. And so there's all these different types of uh, options out there and your strategy is going to depend entirely upon your tolerance for risk your long-term goals and how long you have to be able to invest in those i'm going to share with you guys one of the most impactful mindset shifts that i had in my 20s when it came to my relationship with money and personal finance also this might not be everybody's cup of tea so if this doesn't resonate with you feel free to keep scrolling but this like changed the way that i think about my money and there are lots of different names for this and people credited different authors but i'm just going to share it with you here so let's say that you're planning a vacation to go to the beach next year and it's going to cost a thousand dollars and typically what most people would do is that they would look at their current budget they'd see where they can cut back to save a thousand dollars to go on their trip and there's nothing wrong with that, but there's actually another way to think about it. And that is between now and next summer, when can we earn an extra thousand dollars to go on that trip? 
Maybe you'll pick up a few freelancing projects or babysit or dog walk. So instead of thinking, where can I sacrifice for my current life for something that I want? You think, where can I work harder and do more to earn for something that I want? I'm not saying to stop saving, definitely keep saving. But just try it out and see what you think. I couldn't agree more. Savings are for some of those big ticket items that you have on your horizon. Uh, five years from now, I need a new car. Um, 10, 20 years from now, I've uh, you know my kid's going to college, those kind of things. And, uh, and for emergencies in the short run, I need three to six months of my monthly expenses stored up in an emergency fund in case something comes up that I didn't plan for. But, you know, a, a vacation is different. And I want to take it one step farther, not just think, uh, what, how can I hustle and sell some things uh, online? Maybe I ha- can do a garage sale and make a, a few bucks. Well, my family for the next 20 years, every year is going to want to go to the beach and it costs me at least $2,000 to do that. Now, what if I could uh, accumulate enough cash in one year to be able to buy a, an investment of some form, whether it's real estate or stock or whatever, and that is going to cash flow for me, I'm gonna have either dividends or cash flow that's going to be able to cover that expense for me year over year. And as it grows and, and my expense grows with inflation, so does the value of this uh, this investment. And so that's another way of thinking about it. I don't think that you need to necessarily try to have categorized different assets in your life and and specifically target them, but it's the mindset that's important, that it's not always about just a uh, dollar in dollar out it's it's something about trying to have your income this uh this stack of dollars be able to work harder for you so that when you have those bigger expenses coming down the pike when you want to take your family on vacation year over year over year you're not thinking to yourself well i can only sell so many pairs of shoes to be able to pay for all these different vacations down the line want to hear something that will make you feel better about yourself Absolutely. Okay, fine. I invested in a Roth IRA for over two years, every single month. And it took me dating someone in finance to realize that I had never invested anything. I had just deposited money. I never bought a single stock. I thought it was automatic. I thought it was automatic. And that assumption is so common. But here's, here's the other problem that, that I see there is that you're almost doing everything right. You're almost doing everything you were told to do. You got this Roth IRA, you're putting away from your retirement. I mean, you can't fault someone for that. That's a good thing. But it took this person dating someone in finance to really sit down, look at what they were invested in, look at their plan, look at their goals and realize where their shortfalls were. And that's the real problem here is that it's it's not so much about their relationship with just that one investment account. It's their relationship with their financial health holistically. It's that they don't have enough people in their lives that are coaching them, that are advising them, that are training them along the way to make sure that they're not just reaching their short-term goals, but they're really knocking those long-term goals out of the park and having a life better than they ever imagined could be possible. Because that's poss- it is possible for so many people, Get so many of us get caught in these kinds of traps where we just didn't know uh, a key element to some function of our financial health and we missed out on a huge opportunity. So find yourself a circle of people, find yourself advisors and uh, and attorneys and and coaches just like just like us here. And so we coach people on making sure that they're getting the most out of their financial money journey towards their goals.